Hi folks, Rusty with Sagacity Allstream Fabrication Engineering here. Today we're going to be talking about needle valves. This particular one is carbon steel. This one's stainless steel. And they can be any material, even exotics, hasteloy, titanium. And we're going to talk a little bit about the different types of needle valves that are out there and how to specify them. First, you need to know exactly how the valve is put together. We talked about the body material, the body and the bonnet, the top part of the valve, typically are the same material of construction. This particular cutaway shows the handle, our bonnet assembly with packing, and base valve needle assembly. In this particular case, it's a non-rotating stem, which has a little ball, rotating ball and a knuckle joint down here so that the ball doesn't gall the seat, metal seat, in the body when it's tightened down. Packing material can be changed from Teflon, which is typical, to graph oil for really high temperature applications. And in some instances, valve manufacturers will use peak, which is a good combination of both temperature tolerance and chemical tolerance. This particular bonnet assembly is an adjustable packing assembly. There's a nut so that you can tighten down on this Teflon so that it does not leak when pressure is applied to the valve. In some instances, especially in gas applications, over time, opening and closing the valve, you'll need to tighten down on that packing assembly so that it seals against the stem and prevents the valve from leaking. I mentioned this is a non-rotating stem. They also have a rising stem valve in which the needle itself is actually a V-shape and sits in the seat of the valve. In gas applications, you'll use a soft-seated valve and the seat material is in the base of the body and that's where the needle sits. For gas applications, you want a soft seat like a Delrin plastic or a Teflon so that the stem can actually sit and seal tight against the body of the valve. In liquid applications, you're typically using a metal seat. The non-rotating stem will seat tight against the metal seat and seal off the liquid flow. Good rule of thumb, not always the case. We recommend you talk to the valve manufacturer to see what they recommend. Bodies of the valve can have different process connections. In this case, this is a male by female, female thread on this end, male on this end. Uh, they can be tube ended connections, they can be sanitary connections. It really doesn't matter to the valve itself. Check with your piping engineers to see what type of connection fits your piping schematic in your facility. Finally, handle type. If you see a T-handle, it's a good indication that this valve is being used as a root valve or a simple on-off valve in an application, say, as a root valve to a pressure gauge. However, if you see a knob-type handle, that usually indicates a precision-type needle valve that is being used to control flow, say, into a rotometer or other maybe analyzer or any type of device that needs to have flow controlled precisely in that application. So that's needle valves, folks. If you need more information, feel free to contact us at the contact information below. This has been Rusty with Sagacity Allstream Fabrication Engineering. Be sure and like and subscribe below so you can see more videos in our basic tech series.